So I'm sure you've seen the very sad news by now that Unity have laid off 4% of their workforce, which is around 200 uh, members of staff. This was despite multiple sources saying that previously to this, I think it was just a few weeks ago, the CEO said there wasn't going to be any layoffs in like a all hands meeting. And then suddenly 200 people have lost their jobs. And obviously layoffs are a unfortunate part of work life, especially when it comes to big tech and CEOs chasing kind of the next big thing that they want to chase, which causes uh, companies to get restructured. When news broke of these layoffs, Unity kind of didn't comment at first, but then eventually did uh, make a comment to Protocol with them saying the following. Uh, As part of a continued planning process where we regularly assess our resourcing levels against our company priorities, we decided to realign some of our resources to better drive focus and support our long-term growth. Uh, This resulted in some hard decisions that impacted approximately 4% of all of Unity's workforce. We are grateful for the contributions of those leaving Unity and we are supporting them through this difficult transition. So the line that really jumps out there to me is uh, we regularly assess our resourcing levels against our company priorities. And it's kind of this thing, like what is Unity's sort of priority now? So one of the teams that was laid off was uh, Unity's internal production team, which was responsible for creating Gagea. Those of you who don't know, Gagea was supposed to be Unity committing to going through the full kind of workflow pipeline of planning, creating and deploying a live working game made in Unity and published on Steam for free. And then they were going to release the project files for Gagea for people to jump into, pull apart, use, kind of, you know, explore and see kind of how an actual working game is put together in Unity. And it was going to be this really cool uh, learning resource with them doing lots of video blogs and stuff about it and blog posts. Um, And it seems like this isn't going to come to fruition now. And the goal of Giga was to help Unity understand uh, users' frustrations with the engine and see where the engine was lacking and kind of how they could improve the engine for actual game making, especially when it comes to making and deploying commercial games. And the issue here then, to me at least, is because Unity wanted to restructure their priorities and got rid of the internal production team, which was supposed to be to improve the game engine aspects of the game engine Unity. To me, this kind of flags that their priority isn't in game development anymore. When you compare this with uh, Unreal Engine, Epic actually make a game in their own engine and have done for a while. So obviously there was Unreal Tournament, Gears, obviously the most obvious one is Fortnite. And a lot of the improvements that they made for Fortnite became part of the engine in Unreal Engine 5. And Unity doesn't have anything like this. Gigeo was supposed to be the answer to that. And obviously that's gone now. And as Kenny NL states here in this tweet, uh, Gigeo had a really positive impact on the community because it was almost like they were saying, look, we see you indie developers. We know that there's some issues with the engine. We're going to work on making them better. And we're going to take the game engine part of our game engine seriously. But with buyouts such as Weta, which cost 1.6 billion dollars remember that's quite a lot of money and the acquisition of for example ziva dynamics which is their face tech stuff and now this priority reshuffling resulting in these layoffs it kind of says to me at least that unity is focused more on vfx and the film industry they've done a lot of stuff with the automotive industry the military um they seem to be kind of distancing themselves from video games now don't get me wrong i'm not a business expert you know i can't possibly know kind of all of the individual thought processes that went into making this. But you know, from the outside, they're just following the money. And they're a company at the end of the day, they are set up to make money. So they'll go where the money seems to lie to them. My thoughts are Epic already have a foothold in the VFX industry especially with Unreal Engine 5 and how kind of photorealistic it's trying to go. Um, Unity has nothing graphically compared to Unreal Engine 5. And Unreal is obviously used, it was uh, used on The Mandalorian by Disney um, to do these big sort of like virtual production sets. And then on top of that, Epic already have a foothold in the games industry. They've got their own game store. They use their engine to make games. So really, Unreal Engine 5 outclasses Unity in quite a lot of different ways. I mean, Epic even have their own uh, storefront for these games, which provide incentives for devs to to use Unreal Engine when making their game to then release it on Epic. And Epic take less of a cut from sales of games made on their store. And if you've used Unreal Engine, you don't have to pay any uh, engine licensing fees either. And obviously Godot 4.0 is nearly here, which is bringing a lot of uh, new features to the table for both the 2D and 3D game making side of things. But you know, it's still a little bit a long way off being competitive with Unity and Unreal. So the main reason that I loved Unity so much is because it filled that sweet spot of ease of use, 
but high quality production. You know, it's not got the greatest graphics and it's not the easiest to program in. So you've got Godot and Unreal kind of on different ends of the spectrum. And this was kind of the nice middle ground, which made it great for this kind of indie space. But it's hard to get excited for the future of Unity as a game making engine when Unity themselves don't seem to want to see it as a game making engine. And like, this isn't the end of Unity as a game engine, obviously by any sort of definition. And it looks like largely people will be sticking with Unity. There's not like some sort of big boycott of people moving. Some people have said they're gonna move over to Unreal. Uh, at least from my subscribers, I put out a poll up on the channel yesterday and the large majority said you're gonna stick it out with Unity. And this comment from Zozo was a great take where they said, I'm a .NET developer and I've used Unity for five years. To move to a completely different workflow would be absurd. And that's kind of my thoughts on it as well. When you are, when people are so used to using Unity and C Sharp, are they going to jump into a whole new tool set, a whole new programming language? It kind of doesn't really make a huge amount of sense, especially in the short term. And like I said, for me, I'm definitely going to be sticking with Unity, at least in the short to medium term. I've only just, I feel like I've only just got to that point in my own game dev journey where I'm starting to feel kind of competent in the engine. Um, you know, I'm using less tutorials, I'm now making tutorials, and you know, I know how to go look out in the documentation and figure things out on my own, um, and that's quite a good feeling. And to go back to learning another engine, having to go back to learning tutorials and not knowing really anything, that's gonna be really hard to do. So I think in the long term, I do want to try and learn Unreal. It seems to be the way the industry is going. A lot of games companies are now using Unreal Engine. The games company I work for uses Unreal Engine, but that's, you know, very long term. Um, it'd be such a step back to do that now. Uh, I'd rather just focus on making games. But I'm interested to hear what you all think about this. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's have a discussion. I'm just really interested to see what people actually think about these layoffs, the end of Gagea. Like, where do you think Unity is going to go? But yeah, a bit of a different video from me. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.